Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. I've done it again. I have placed another book outlet order, so stick around if you're interested to see what I've picked up this time. Okay, so if this is your first time here, then you may not know how addicted I am to the book outlet. If you have been around for a while, welcome back. You know I've got a major addiction to the book outlet and I actually placed two orders around the same time. So here's the first one. You'll be getting another one probably in the next week or two, but I love the book outlet. If you have never ordered from the book outlet before, I will put a code down in the bottom for you. It's a referral code. It gets you a little bit of savings and it gives me a few reward points to use to be able to buy more books to show you. Great, great quality. You're gonna love what I've got in this box, I think. But if this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a soon-to-be second grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you're interested in, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. And if you love Book Outlet as much as I do, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get this thing open. So I... Tr try to stay away, but then they email me and they're like 25% off or this or that. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here. So I know I ordered some really cool stuff and I think it's in this box. So let's get started. I'm excited. Ooh, the very first one is like this really big book. I love Wide Eyed. They come out with some really, really fantastic books. And I just thought this looked pretty cool. Um, a way to explore the 50 states. So let's open it up here. So you get a really big map that shows you all the states first. I think there is a typo in here or something. I do remember seeing something about they got some state wrong. I can't remember which one it was now. But there's so much information on all of these. So let's, so let's look at the first page here. So we have Anchorage, Alaska. So you can just see they're showing us all sorts of really cool things about Anchorage. Some people that were there, some key facts. Welcome to the City of Lights and Flowers and a day in Anchorage. Really, really cool. Of course, this is going to go through all 50 states. Sorry, I'm having to lay this down because it's so big. But this is really, really awesome. There's a lot of information on here. I mean, a lot. So this might be something you want to take a little bit slower rather than like try to cover all of it in one day. Maybe just kind of do a few key points or something like that. But I thought this would be an awesome resource to have for second grade and really for quite some time just studying the 50 cities of the USA. All right, up next is another wide-eyed and just a little hint for those that are maybe searching, trying to figure out how to find things on Book Outlet is, for instance, I love wide-eyed, so I will type that in and I will see everything that they have available for wide-eyed. Um, same thing with like BrainQuest. I love BrainQuest, so I'll type that in, see what they might have available, or an author, anything like that. This is Sounds of Nature, World of Forest. So both of these books have looked really, really good. I don't even see like the little mark like I would normally get with the book outlet. So I don't see that, but this is a noise one. And I don't know if it will actually do it because I haven't pulled the tab, but you're supposed to be able to press the button and you're going to actually hear the animals that would be in the evergreen forest in Germany or the Redwood Forest in California. And you can see there's a little press button on each of these. Again, this is a big, big book. This is not a ton of pages, but they all are a little bit different. I think this is gonna be really, really neat. And I just couldn't not pick it up. It just seemed such an interesting book. So again, this is Sounds of Nature, World of Forest by Wide Eyed. Oh, this is one of the things I was really, really excited to show you guys. 
I picked up one of these crystal creations in one of my last book hauls. She's been doing that and has had a blast. It's been lasting for like quite a while for an activity, but you have all these small little crystals or gems and you put it on the numbered dot. And then at the end, you have this like gorgeous little frame that you can gift or keep or whatever. I thought this one was going to be gorgeous. This is the Peacock. And if I get it really, really closely, maybe you can see the numbers on there. And so all of those coordinate with one of these gems, which are also numbered. I picked up a couple of these and I actually ended up ordering the unicorn again because I thought it would be a great gift. This is awesome. Again, I got it from the book outlet. Looks brand new. There's no marking or anything on it and I got an incredible deal on it. So these are so, so cool. And I love that one, they're working with number recognition and they're working with like this little very detailed working so nicely. I love this. Love it so much. All right, I have another wide-eyed book here. So this is When We Walked on the Moon. Discover the dangers, disasters, and triumphs of every moon mission. This book is um, a little messed up right here on the edge right there, but the rest of it looks really good. Um, it's odd. I'm not seeing like the little dots that I normally get. So there must be something different about these books as far as what they might be. So here's the contents of this page. And then we have the little chapter one, the race to space. So again, really, really great amount of information. And I just love these books. And this is something that I would like to study this year is a little bit of astronomy, kind of the moon, things like that. And so I thought I'd go ahead and pick this up so that I had it because like I said, I think they were having like 25% off that day and the books are already a great price. Okay, are we getting a theme here? One, um, I obviously searched wide-eyed for this particular order and I got another one for space. This is Brilliant Ideas from Wonderful Women and it's 15 incredible inventions from inspiring women. Now this is not all space, I did say that, but that is not all space. This is just all the things that some amazing women came up with. And I thought, again, what a wonderful thing to have for my daughter or anyone. See who exactly came up with some of the cool things that we have now. Very cool, brilliant ideas from wonderful women. Okay, I have another wide-eyed book, Catch Cat. Discover the world in this search and find adventure. I thought this would be a fun resource for like geography and is a little search and find, I believe. So that's gonna be really fun too. So welcome curious cats everywhere. Are you ready for an exciting seek and find adventure? Think you've got what it takes to travel around the globe and track down our elusive furry, feline friend, then get ready for a journey like no other. So this is really cute. There's different things that the cat is going to be doing. So it's like a Where's Waldo or something like that. And we have to find him on each page. And so of course, White Eyed is going to give us a load of information to go along with this. And I just really think that's cool. Very, very cool. South America, love it, really cute. Here is another Crystal Creations. This one is a tiger. Again, I think this is just going to be so pretty. Really, really pretty. You can see that the one that I got with the unicorns were not the crystals exactly. They weren't as bright and shiny as these are. So I think these are gonna be even prettier, but we're loving the unicorn one. And here is the tiger. And it says hours of crystal fun. And it totally is. Like I said, she's been working on one for like a few weeks. She'll go, she'll sit, she'll work on it for a while, come back. And what's nice is it can just all be closed back up and you don't have stuff everywhere. And there's a little cover that covers each of these after you open them up. Really awesome. And how it works is you take this little pen and you stick it into this little goop. And then you pick up one and put it on there. Pick up one, put it on there. And you really don't have to refill the goop very often. So very, very awesome project to have. All right, let's see what else I have here. 
Oh, okay. I forgot I got this one. Untold stories of the Normandy landing inspired by 20 real life people. All of these wide eyed books are like really large. I don't know if you can see like how large these are. But this is again just something that I thought would be very interesting to use as a resource for studying some history things this year. This might be a little bit much for second grade. I don't know. But we can just kind of explore it, gather the information that we want to out of it, and then we can use this again when she's a little bit older, but this one is one we can just kind of explore and start kind of wetting our feet just a little bit into this sort of topic. All right, looks like I've got just a few more here. I did try to pick up quite a few where were, who was, who is, books. And this one says, Where Were the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World? I really, really like the who was books. I think these are just like a great, great history resource. They're fun. They have some good images in them. And we just really enjoy them. We like them a lot. And so I did try to pick up quite a few because I just think these are great to have as an additional resource for studying history and just gathering other little bits of information. I do see I have a little red dot on this one, the sticker from the previous shop, but otherwise, great condition. I picked this book up because I recently read a book by Matt Haig. Um, it was really, really good. I believe it was called The Midnight Library. Amazing book. It's an adult book, but this one is a children's book, The Girl Who Saved Christmas. And there's just something about it that gives me like a sweep feel. And if you have like heard me much at all this year, you know that I am fascinated with a book called Sweep, which is by Jonathan Oxer. I don't know if this is anything even remotely. I don't know if it's just because of this is making me think of it, but there was just something about when I read about what the story was about. I just got the feels and I thought it could be an awesome book for us to read around Christmas time. So this is The Girl Who Saved Christmas by Matt Haig the best-selling author of A Boy Called Christmas, which they did not have that. If they did, I would have picked it up. But this is, It is hope that sends Santa's sleigh soaring through the sky and hope that fills each child's stocking. Hope is what makes the magic possible and Amelia Wishart is the most hopeful child in the world. Seems really sweet. This is her story. I just think it's going to be a great book course I'm gonna have to wait a while because we're looking at like June right now July almost so it's gonna be a little bit for I'm in the Christmas mood but I think this will be a good one and then I picked up one book for myself this is by Megan Miranda come find me this is a thriller type book it says how often the danger lurks inside our own homes, how often we let it in. The problem with a missing person investigation is this. Everyone is under suspicion. If they were taken, it's most likely by someone they know. A disappearance could be reported in order to cover something up, something worse. But this is different. Liam was there and then he was gone along with the dog. Then he slipped from this dimension like something took him from us. So, um little dot on the book otherwise very very great condition hardcover I mean you can tell the spine hasn't even been cracked I can't remember if somebody recommended her to me or how I came to find this book I cannot remember for the life of me because I don't think I've ever read her I'm really not even into thrillers I'm just very lightly dipping my toe in them but I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see how this is. If anybody's read this, put it down in the comments so I know if I've got a good one on my hands. All right, so there they all are. Almost all of them were wide-eyed books this time. I know in my next haul, I'm gonna have a bunch of these and some different workbooks. So if you're interested to see what that is, be sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, friends!